you got an ad and, and, and it's generating clicks and getting conversions, don't stop testing that ad. Keep that as your as your um as your what it is when when you're testing as your standard. Yeah. And then you come up with some other ones that you can test with to test against that standard one. Right. And as long as the standard is generating the results, keep it there. I mean, keep changing the ones you're testing with because one of those will eventually probably outperform your standard and become the standard and become the standard. Yeah. And so so yeah, don't stop testing. So yeah, that was ten do's and ten don'ts in Google AdWords. Um, I'll post a link um, on Facebook and Twitter. And um, so yeah, hit us up. Tell us what you thought about it. Excellent. All right. So now we have a little bit of what? Got some what news? Which begins with what? Yeah. Yeah. So we got two what's. Uh, first one goes to uh, uh, AT and T, right? So you know, uh, moment of silence for yesterday, yeah, right? Nine yeah, eleven. Yeah. Yeah, so yesterday AT&T posted, a, they tweeted a picture of a new device. Really nice picture. Yeah, great, great picture, picture, awesome image. Uh, and the device had, so it was a picture of the device being held, and in the background was the uh, New York City skyline missing the, the two twin towers, right? But on their phone, which is in the middle of the image, the towers are there. Yeah, beams of light. Yeah, beams like of light that, that look like the towers. Right. And uh, Greg said, cool image, great looking image, great graphics and everything, uh, but just really douchey timing, yeah. uh, uh, douchey concept. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, you know, 9-11 was serious. And, uh, and, and uh, negative. Yeah. Like, how, why would you want your product associated with, with such a negative thing? Yeah. Right? I mean, you do moments of silence. You keep your kind of name away from that. Um, unless you're supporting, you know, people who got injured and the firefighters yeah, or whatever, things like that. that you know that has a positive spin on it. Um, but yeah, it, it just seems like a horrid wouldn't, decision. Wasn't wasn't smart. So. Anyway, the twi the Twitter sphere went crazy, and then they pulled it down within an hour, and and so, yeah. What? Really? Yeah. You know, maybe hashtag really <laughs> AT and T. Oh, and the second one goes to um, goes to uh, Bing. Yeah, Bing. So uh, check this out. Anybody, if you if you logged into Chrome, or for, and it probably works for Firefox. So they did for me with Chrome. If you logged into Chrome and Chrome is your default browser, and you're logged in with your Google account, if you go to Bing, uh, Bing is gonna ask you to change your default search to Bing and also make Bing.com your homepage. That was the only option it gave me, and I was like. I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't. I just want to search. <laughs> and so using an inferior <laughs> search engine. Yeah. And you're not even letting me do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so so yeah. Uh, Bing, come on now. Just let me search, dude. I shouldn't have. I ended up going to IE, and then Bing worked fine. So yeah, I make e. me Ooh. make me go to an inferior browser to use an inferior search, search engine. <laughs> Yeah, and if you were on Windows 8, it would be on an inferior <laughs> operating system. Actually, it would be on one of two inferior operating systems because yeah. Windows 8 is two of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys have made us the most popular SEO and internet marketing podcast on iTunes. We really appreciate you. We really appreciate when you write us reviews, make contact on Facebook, uh, and send us emails. We really appreciate that. So until the next podcast, my name is Chris Burris. Charles Lewis. Bye-bye for now. Remember, next podcast will be Friday at noon, Central Standard Time. What's that, the 20th? Yeah, it's the 20th.